Have you got the message, error establishing a database connection? It's one of the most common errors WordPress users encounter. It means that the website no longer has access to your WordPress database, which brings the website down. One of the main reasons behind this is a misconfiguration of database details. In this video, we will show you how to reconfigure the database correctly to bring your website back. Firstly, access your cPanel account. You can refer to the guidelines attached under the video. Next, navigate to the eFile Manager menu within the eFiles section of your hosting cPanel account. There, open the root folder of your website. This is the public underscore HTML directory for your main domains. If required, you can double-check the website's directory through the domains menu. It will be named after the domain. Next, find the wpconfig.php file, right-click on it, and select the edit option. The file should contain the name, username, and password of the database assigned to your WordPress installation. Once found, you should check if the details are correct. To do this, click the cPanel icon in the top left corner to come back to the main page and navigate to the MySQL Databases menu within the Databases section. Keep the wp-config file open. Carefully check if the database name matches the one specified in wp-config. You can use the Ctrl F keyboard to do this. Scroll down and check the database username. Now, set the password to the one from wp-config. Click the Change Password button to do this. Enter the password you found in the wp-config to the provided fields. And click Change Password to apply the changes. Finally, make sure your database user has the correct privileges. Scroll down to the Add User to Database section, choose your own database details, and click Add. Choose All Privileges and click on Make Changes to apply them. A message will appear confirming successful changes. That's it. Once the database, its username, and the password are all correct, the error message should go away. However, if it persists after performing the above steps, contact our chat or ticket support. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section below. You can also check out our knowledge base at namecheap.com for more tips and support.